soft velocity. In this chapter, I would like to use the fabulous plugin that is D3. D3 is a library that you can use to build very nice and interesting data display. You can display your information in several ways, in different ways, very innovative ways. Uh, for example, uh, the summable partition layout is a very nice a very, very nice plugin. It is a, a different way to display this information. And the information can be beautiful. Let's, let's see how we can do it. How we can integrate this in H5. If we see the source, you will see that we have a couple, a few styles and a simple script. Of course, we have to integrate and load the scripts, a couple of scripts only, um, before the head is closed. And, well, we are using the tree and the information, the data is being loaded from a JSON file. And this JSON file, let's analyze how the JSON file is being built. You see, we have several children uh, with information, with some parameters. I mean, I have the children, its name, this is the name of children, this is uh, the size, this object contains the size. It's fine. Um, also, this is the parent, and we have a name and the children. Anyway, let's go back to H5. Layout partition. How can we do it? How can we integrate D3 inside Dragon? Well, basically, instead of using instead of using the head, we have a different embed point. As you can see, uh, we have a JavaScript embed point. And this is very important because maybe you will try to load other scripts and you will fail because only uh, few scripts are hand-coded using this class. Let me show you this. Again, let's go to this point. I am calling this script D3 and D3 layout. You may ask yourself, how are we loading that, right? Well, basically, it's only a list that we return the proper script line. For example, if I wanted to use uh, the lines directly, it's very easy. I just have to write this instead of the call for the script. And it will work. Let me show you how. Let's Basically, it is the same. Now, I will choose this. And that's it. This will write the proper script lines actually I don't need the, the first line. So it's in a short while. Uh, 
down. I don't need one. This class was made so that you don't have to worry about uh, writing the whole script lines and everything. You just call the the proper script and the class will return your strings with the proper information. So let's run it again. Of course, I got a message that we do not need on this on the desktop because you will never see anything on the desktop. Okay, you need you need this. You need H5. Okay, and let's go back. It was layout partition, and it is working. It is working fine. Um, but let's see how are we building this? If we check the source. It is very similar to the example. Um, inside, we have proper credits for the examples. In this case, I am using this JSON file. Let's take a look at the JSON file. It's basically the same structure. Everything is, it contains a name and a size. So we can build the partition. But let's go back to the credit. Let's let's see how we are doing this. As we saw, we are loading the script. And I have on bottom first I remove the JSON file, the visual space JSON. But this file is only a text file. We have to create the data. And for that, we have a routine. Let's go to that routine. So this is a very interesting section of the program. In here, we remove the, the JSON file. We make it again. We create the JSON file again. And we use a string. So everything is going to be very fast. We are starting the JSON file. We are adding the first line. Each each line will contain the object. And of course, we have a loop over the file visual sales. And on that we go and extract the data from the child. And the child are it's another routine. The other routine is here and we just have to extract information from the child. Um, add the each line to the text file. In fact, if you wanted to have a total and whatnot, you can do do it here. It's basically regular clearing code. You don't have to worry about it. And um, using the example, you can build your own very complex JSON files, and you can now objects and have arrays inside. Let's go back to the to the script. Okay, first we are making the routine and after that I am cop going to copy the file from the from the folder that I am running the application from to the instance. If I succeed, only then I will output the script line. As you see, I am using the parameter of the file name. It's a bar to indicate in the script what file to use. Everything else remains basically the same. And this is the result. If you take a look at this code, this section of code, you will see that it is basically the same code that you will see here. That's it. This way, I can use very much any script that I find to display information using JavaScript. I can make it happen with clients. 
and my own my own code and my own information. For example, uh, this is something that you should keep in mind. I am attaching a div to Clarion form, and Clarion form is here. This is Clarion form. So this is going to be created below Clarion form. That's important because you can make it um, below the close button or string or anything that you want. You just have to replace the ID. Other than that, this was very simple. And we can change or analyze information that we have here. It's a regular database made with Clarion. And here we have it. You see, it is basically the same. It is a regular browse, but we are displaying everything in a very particular and interesting way, because this is very dynamic. And can I can go inside the detail, and you can see that it, it's got a short order. And um, of course, we have certain styles. You want to change anything, you can do it in, say, Clarion. Because it is a CSS file. Well, not a file, it is uh, a style. And the style can be changed here. You can change the colors or the opacity, whatever you want for this particular example. Basically, you are accessing the database and building a JSON file on the fly. So you can satisfy the JavaScript script to display your database made with Clarion. This is very easy to do. You just have to follow the example if you have any doubts, and it should be uploaded. 